We just got May jobs figures from the Labor Department. And while everyone on Wall Street is paying attention to the unemployment rate and the pace of hiring, I found three things to watch to give you a better idea of what's going on in the economy. One, wages are going up, but the pace of that increase is slowing. And that's actually good news for the economy and markets. Why is that? Well, we all love getting raises and we all love when we switch jobs and we get a pay bump. But when everyone in the economy is getting that pay bump all at once, that causes inflation to soar. We're all paying more for food, gasoline, and clothing now. So even though it may seem like we're getting paid more, we're actually not feeling much richer because the cost of goods that we're buying is going up too. Economists have been expecting that the pace of wage growth would increase month over month. But luckily, that pace was actually a little bit lower. And that is good news because it means that some of the inflationary pressures on the economy, those things that are making all of our goods and services cost more, may be starting to peak and come back down. Two, wage growth is not being felt equally. In the aggregate, yes, wages are going up. But managers are getting bigger paychecks, but they're not seeing the same increases that their workers are. And that is why we have a tricky employment environment. If you walk around your town, you're probably seeing a lot of help wanted signs at restaurants, stores, and other businesses. And the reason is companies have had a hard time bringing workers back to those industries after the pandemic. One way to get them in is to pay higher wages. Three, hiring in leisure and hospitality is hot right now. In fact, the leisure and hospitality industry saw the largest increase in wages year over year because that area of the economy had been shuttered for two years and it is having a difficult time attracting workers back into it. While that might feel good for someone who's working in that industry, for someone who's going to these restaurants, hotels, and other businesses, they're likely noticing prices have gone up and in some cases, wait times have gone up too because there aren't as many workers to meet the demand. Labor Department data in May showed that roughly a quarter of new jobs created were in hotels and restaurants. But even though the level of hiring is hot, there are still fewer workers in those industries than there were before the pandemic. And that is why you see a lot of companies saying that they are struggling to find talent. Because there's that shortage of workers still, as we mentioned before, wages are going to go up, which means your costs for your summer vacation are probably going to go up too. With those three factors, what does all of this mean for the economy? Well, you'll remember I recently said that the market was hoping for a jobs report that wasn't too great, but not necessarily bad. And the May jobs report didn't quite deliver. Yes, there was still a slowdown in the pace of growth, but there were still signs that the economy is really humming along. And that means that the Federal Reserve is still going to have to act pretty aggressively to tamp down on white hot inflation. As one analyst put it, the economy is boiling, but it's just not boiling as rapidly as it was before. So that means that the Federal Reserve has little reason to deviate from its plan to aggressively raise interest rates. Of course, we won't know for sure until the conclusion of their meeting later in June. Now you tell us, does the May jobs report change the Federal Reserve's long-term plans for hiking interest rates? Be sure to tell us in the comments below.